The Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame recognizes Ohio's distinguished men and women who have worn the uniform of our nation's armed forces and then continue to contribute to their communities, state, and nation through exceptional acts of volunteerism, advocacy, professional distinction, public service, and philanthropy. The Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame. Nominate a veteran today. Peter Anderson, U.S. Navy, Vietnam, Persian Gulf. I had six siblings and uh, my mother died when I was young, so we didn't have uh, money to send people to college for the most part. So my aunt came up with the idea of me taking an ROTC test, which I took and immediately said it's the worst test I've ever taken, so you could forget about that. And then they called. At college, I was in ROTC, so every summer you get to go for six to eight weeks on a cruise, as we called it. And uh, one of mine was to uh, the Gulf of Tonkin on Kitty Hawk. I had the great fortune of being one of the people who volunteered to take off with the A6 drivers and, and fly um, as the planes took off because they couldn't go all the way in country until they got refueled in the air. So I'd go up in the refueling planes. In my first tour, I, I was on a ship in, in which the only people that I really got to know were the officers that I worked with and, and then the people that worked for us. Uh, but to, to be able to work with, with them and learn from them and then teach others and mentor others was, was really special for me in, in the military. And it's, it's helped contribute to what I wanted to do afterwards of giving back and, and being part of those who give back. What I learned in the military is what got me the job that I got afterwards. Um, I was uh, stationed in Columbus, as I said, as the commander of the, one of the activity, one of the agencies on the base there, and uh, got, to, got to deal with uh, the mayor, uh, Greg Lashutka at the time. And the mayor decided he really needed to have a technology position created for his staff, and he asked me to, uh, to be on a panel that would help select the person. And then Dick Browning called me a month later and he said, you know, the mayor doesn't want you to be on the panel anymore. And I said, that's okay, that's fine. No, he wants you to be the person. When we lived in Columbus, actually, our church was very involved in the homeless, um, serving the homeless, and we would get a whole group of people that were rotated among churches and we'd feed them and then help them with what's their plan for the next day and what are their job interviews if they happen, that kind of thing. So when Katrina occurred, there wasn't really any thought of how we're going to do this or how can we do this or yeah, how you can do it, but that we would do it, we'd want to do it. It's a very humbling experience. I, I, uh, particularly as, as I look through and uh, I'm in with giants in, my, in that aspect, I think. Um, so I'm, I'm certainly honored and, and very pleased to, to even be included in the same sentence with, with some of those people. Um, and what Ohio has done and what this means is, is really special. It's, uh, it's a great honor. Selection and induction into the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame is a great honor. Nominate a veteran today.